The respiratory hospital will hold 126 patients upon completion. The renovation of the medical facility was undertaken by the government of St. Lucia with help from the World Bank. According to the Permanent Secretary in the Health Ministry, Benson E. Mill, government's role in the project is complete, which places the hospital at almost two-thirds capacity. Emil disclosed that the World Bank component is 95% done and all that remains is the procurement of local equipment to make the rooms more habitable. He says health officials are awaiting the go-ahead from the bank. The submission is before the World Bank. We expect, we would expect approval or some response before the end of this week. And we have already, we're already in discussion with the contractor. So as soon as approval is granted, work will commence you know, on cooling so that the, the facility can operate at full capacity. The shortfall at this point is 44 beds. The World Bank component is supposed to deliver 44 beds. Um, so we are at, capa we are at 82 bed capacity, making it almost you know, two thirds of, of the capacity of the hospital. Medical officials say as the hospital approaches full capacity, only severely ill COVID-19 patients will be admitted for care and treatment. Medical Director of OKEUH and the Respiratory Hospital, Dr. Alicia Eugene Ford, says there are currently four spots available for persons experiencing complications with COVID-19. We're looking at um, 15 um, ICU beds, but out of the 15 ICU beds right now, we have three ready for use. It's short time. So if somebody comes in now at the respiratory hospital and they need an ICU bed, we have three that are ready, three rest stations that are ready. What I mean ready is ventilators and all the different um, parts that are needed to have that bed functional. We have everything there for three stations. And we have an additional station that we can have ready in quick time if needed. So while we wait for the rest of the area, the ICU area, or the area that's earmarked for ICU is being given to us by the World Bank. So I can tell you we have space for four, four cases. Executive Director of the OKEU and Respiratory Hospital, Nancy Francis, says the Health Ministry anticipated a surge in patients. Thus, the hospital undertook a manpower plan in preparation for the spike in cases. We had our, our human resource plan and we were looking at capacity as well. So uh, as we move into the second wave, the, the second wave, what we've done, we activated the human resource component. So we have increased our human, our human resource capacity at the, at the respiratory hospital. And we've also um, looked at the resources over at the Owen King EU hospital. And some of the services are shared, for example, as the, um, the administrative services. We share this service as well. Positive and suspected COVID-19 patients are currently being accepted at the respiratory facility. Suspected negative patients will be transferred to other health facilities for monitoring or may be isolated at home to prevent overcrowding at the hospital. Joachim Duplessis, HDS News Force.